Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. We made it. 30 days outdoors, and I will tell you first and foremost that it was uh, the most unforgettable experience of my life, and uh, I wish I could sustain that lifestyle because being on the move, I discovered, is for me. But more importantly, today we're here to celebrate not only the fact that 30 days was, was, has come and gone, but to celebrate what's next. I am on a overnight solo in the state of Ohio. And before I explain why I'm in Ohio, let me show you a few highlights from the uh, 30th night outdoors. Welcome to night 29, backpacking with Buckley. You might recognize this old place. It's kind of a layover destination for me often. The old Badlands, specifically the most famous boondocking spot in the area, just south of Wall. You probably see it's a busy night out here, but I got to show you a little something that just blows our mind. So as I stated, we're boondocking out here in the Badlands, and we met on trail some friends from social media, Ann and Cole, and lo and behold, look who shows up out of here, <laughs> out of nowhere. So we're going to do a little uh, double date here tonight, out here in the wall south dakota area and we'll show you uh just what a sunset probably looks like fingers crossed and hopefully some stars but either way what an awesome experience to re-meet some friends this is really bizarre right from the badlands night 29 complete this is where we say goodbye to our new friends ann and cole and move on to night 30 which is our final night in the books technically we might have to do 31 just to make up for that hostel evening but more importantly thanks to Anna Cole for crashing with us thanks for letting us yeah, the, thank you. the boondocking spot never disappoints did you guys enjoy it oh, it was awesome yeah. yeah great views we'll hang out with these guys again someday we hope and we'll uh move on to the next destination which won't be as exciting as the badlands but night 30 here we come the magic evening has come it's night 30 Spending it with some special friends. <laughs> Might recognize these two. But 30 days has gone by, and with the exception of one night in a hostel, we have successfully made it. We're going to do 31, too, just for good measure, so nobody can claim we cheated. But tonight we're spending the night in Garretson, South Dakota, to visit Emma <laughs> before we head east. And it's day 30, so let's look back at what the last 30 days have been like. So as I look back on those 30 days, there's a lot of sights and memories and beautiful things that we laid our eyes upon. Perhaps one of the biggest things that we learned is that there are a lot of really wonderful people out there and we met some really great friends along the way. Uh, some on trail, some uh, with like Tim and Tammy at Bear Den Cabins and Camp, and some old friends that stopped by to visit us uh, on our journeys. And it was just a magnificent experience all around. And uh, thank you to all that helped out along the way, not only with uh, buying us meals and uh, doing things to help us stretch our budget a little further, but just all the emotional support that was shown by everybody. So tonight I'm in Ohio and let me tell you why. So I doubt anybody that's watched any of my videos has forgotten 
a lovable character, Sarah, aka Little Donkey Blue. I am on her property in uh, Northeast Ohio, and she is uh, privileged enough to have 43 acres of land, much of which is beautifully wooded, such as this. And uh, we're gonna spend the next 30 days here kind of just in limbo, trying to make a little money. We're gonna work some jobs, some temporary jobs, and a side hustle we're thinking about doing, or we are doing, is part of why I'm making this video. It's self-promotion, and more importantly, promotion for Sarah, and just for people to get outdoors. But what you're looking at is one of many primitive campsites we are setting up out here. Uh, inspired by Tim and Tammy and a lot of other folks, we are going to uh, try to uh, do a hip camp. So I don't have a lot of details on where to look for us quite yet, but a big part of this video is to show off that I'm not only living on a piece of property that I can literally backpack on, but in, we're gonna try to share that with others. And starting with uh, getting a few primitive campsites together for a hip camp. This is another site at our hip camp. So I'm thinking hammock right there. And another hammock can go right there. And with some creativity, probably a couple more in a few of these trees here. But this is just another nice little flat site with kind of a nice woodsy scene, very well shaded. So this area here is uh, still has some a little bit of work to do, but it has functioned awesome as kind of a group camp. And there's all sorts of places where hammocks can be hung and a huge fire ring down here. And the table's just there temporarily used for a table. But this site uh, is probably the biggest site we have so far. And there's other room back there for tents. So this will be a potential group site or for bigger families. A uh, pretty little spot and real close to two different trails that lead to the little water source that runs through here. So this is the little, I would call it a seasonal creek that runs through here. But uh, everybody on the property, Sarah being the most trustworthy source, says that it always has water in a few pools. So we suspect it might actually have some spring fed action going on somewhere along this stream. Uh, but there is always some water, not necessarily for uh, recreation, but at least for filtering water if you're interested in doing that. And a lot of times, uh, I would say you could use this for some fun, just splashing around or at least cleaning up. The water is really clean here. Looks a little dirty where it's flowing through this uh, deeper spot, but as you can see where the rapids are, the water is really clear, uh, especially compared to uh, eastern South Dakota and southern Minnesota. So it's really beautiful. But uh, it rained last night, so it's really kind of buggy and muddy out here today. And over here seems to be a nice spot where we can make another campsite close to the water and with a view of, well, the house up there, but mostly this meadow and a beautiful woodsy scene on the other side. So I think I might make camp here. Again, I'm not here to hike a lot of miles today. I actually kind of want to lay in the hammock and relax. And uh, the reason little Donkey Blue's not here, she's not feeling well today. So nothing major, but she's uh, laying in bed and encourage me to go explore these beautiful Ohio woods. We're really excited to have an opportunity to maybe uh, do some things with this land and see what uh, Sarah can do with her dream to make it a place where it's kind of a gathering place of like-minded folks that like the outdoors. And so, in other words, the sky's the limit. It really depends on what kind of uh, interest and uh, customers we can bring to the door. So for now, look us up if you're interested in coming out and camping out in this direction. We're really excited to be here already and we could we could start having people out tomorrow. So do that and any developments that happen, aka hip camp and things along those lines, I will uh, be posting on my social media and uh, finding links for you guys so that we can do a more organized fashion of reservations out here. But super excited to be in Ohio. Super excited to explore all of the awesome backpacking that is, believe it or not, around here. Uh, the Red River Gorge, Dolly Sods, Allegheny National Forest, places I've always wanted to be, and Buckley's out east. So let's find some new places to explore. 
And thanks again, Sarah, for having me out here. Night one in the woods of the future hip camp. That's really all I have for this video, everyone. You know what's next. Be yourself. Be happy. We'll see you real soon, everybody.